Good day everyone. You are welcome to GeoJGI Solution Tutorial Channel. We offer services in the listed uh, services on the screen. I am Peter Emanje Adaviruku. Uh, today I want to take you through on how to extract latitude and longitude coordinates in degree, minute and seconds in QGIS. So that's what I want to take you through today. Please remember to subscribe to my channel. Help me grow this channel. Thank you. So let's go to the business proper, which is how to extract lat and long coordinates in decimal, I mean in degree, minutes, and second in QGs. So let's go to our QGIS and bring in the data we will use to do that. So to load in our vector data, click on layer, add layer, and we're adding uh, a vector layer. Then Click here to navigate to your folder where the data is. In this case, my data is on my desktop, in my exercise folder on my desktop, which is notable places. So I'll click on open. So and click on add, close, close. So it has been added. I have series of points, places. I have them and I want to know their coordinates in degree, minute, seconds. If you go here to the layer, you right click and open the attribute table. This is the attribute table of the layer. Realize that you have the names of those places, of those points. But what if I want to know the coordinates, the decimal degree, I mean the degree, minute, second of that places. So that is exactly what you want to do. But before then, let me show you something. Uh, let me show you something here so that by the time we start, you understand what I'm doing. So, y coordinates is also known as nodding and it's also known as our latitude. Y x coordinates is our easting, it's also known as our longitude. So, by the time I'm using it, you understand what I mean. So, now let's open the attribute table again. Just right click and open the attribute table. So, here what to do is that you come to this icon called open feed calculator just click on it it will open a canvas like this then this one create a new layer as it is check so output feed name here just type y remember that i told you that our y y is latitude and x is longitude so it means that here we want to calculate our latitude, that is Y. Then this output field type, choose decimal number, real. In some versions of QGIS, you see double here, but may just look for decimal number and click on it. Then the output field length, 10, Let, let's leave it at 10. Then the number of decimal places, which is this precision, you can increase it to, let's say eight or seven depending on you. Then here under expression, click here and type your, and type dollar Y, that is symbol of dollar and then Y or shift four, shift four is dollar, then Y, dollar Y, this Y. What that means is that you are telling this software to calculate the latitude. You remember that Y is our latitude, to calculate the latitude for that field. And once you type dollar $y, you will see preview, output preview here. Then you click on OK. So it will run. You can see it has created a field called Y and it has calculated for the latitude. Now you repeat the same thing for X. X is our longitude. Click on open field calculator. Then here, as this creates a new field is checked, then here just type X. Then here also you choose decimal number and the precision, let's say seven. Then here you press dollar X, dollar X and click on, you see preview here and click on OK. So it will run. See, you can see now it has created for X and Y in decimal degree. But our focus, remember that it is in degree, minute, seconds. So we have calculated, calculated it in decimal degree. So we want to convert it to degree minutes second so let's now do that to do that let's just minimize this so to do that what to do is that you come to plugin click on manage and install plugin 
once you click on that in few seconds it will load okay it has loaded come under all and type search for large space long that is large long tools you click on it large long tools so me i have installed it that is why it's showing me uninstall plugin reinstall it plugin if you have not installed it you see install plugin you click on install and install it once you install it make sure you check see you check that uh, if you, you you have to check it to make sure that it's make it's made active so once i check it i can now close this so it's here already however you now come to this plugin again once you have installed it you see last long tools here is it then you go to conversions then you go to point layer to field click on point layer to field now what to do is that the, under this input point it will be this very notable place this very layer we are one we are working on then output coordinate format coordinate in two field here the name for the field we want to calculate for remember that our y is latitude here you type latitude or lat then here x is our longitude you can just type long long or longitude you can type it in full then you now scroll down scroll down so here you leave all that thing as default here this very place instead of decimal degree you click here you want to calculate in degree minute second choose this degree minute second then here add space if you want add space in between degree minute and second check it and after that you click on run once you run it it has run you can now close it it automatically creates a layer here so it has created a layer now so what to do now is that this layer output which is the result right click it and open so that and open the attribute table see attribute table you can see now that it has created the latitude and longitude in degree minute second now the first uh, our notable place this very layer notable place you remember that we have calculated this in y uh, and x in decimal degree but the new layer created you can see that latitude in degree minute second and longitude in degree minute second has been calculated just as we as we uh, set out to do please remember to subscribe to my channel help me grow this channel Thank you for watching this video.